Hello, peoples of the internet. So, as most of you who are watching this know, I was at PAX East this weekend, and I wore my Mega Man shirt, and I am a huge Mega Man fangirl, and I had been after the Think Geek replica Mega Buster gun for ever since it came out, which was not too long ago, but, um, still. Um, so they had a booth at PAX, and I said it on Facebook and I called it, I was like, I have the sinking feeling that Think Geek is gonna have the replica Mega Buster gun at the con now that I don't have any money and I can't afford it. And lo and behold, it was there, and, um, I was super bummed, I didn't think I was gonna be able to walk away having one, and one of my friends sent me a message and they're like, if you need some help getting that, I will help you, and I was just like, I love you! Like, I was so blown away, and this person has been really awesome, and he's a great guy, he's done a lot of nice things for me in the past, and he actually got me my 3D pass last year. Um, but, um, I digress. Um, so I want to be able to get it, and I'm really excited, and so I'm going to show you what it does. So you turn it on, and it makes that nifty sound, and you can do a regular shot, and you can do a charge shot. Isn't that awesome? I think it's awesome. So I've been running around and playing with it and giggling and my friend's been like, I can't really judge you because you did the same thing when I got my portal gun and I was like, yeah. So, but... I am excited! Also, that wonderful sound in the background of the... <laughs> that's my laptop. It's not in good shape. But, um... You turn it off... I love it! I am so happy! I have no idea where this is gonna go in my room. I'm probably gonna look at one of my shelves and I'm gonna be like, just knock all the stuff off and put it there. But this is going to be proudly on display in my room. And oh, it was such a good weekend. I wound up missing some of the panels that I initially wanted to go to, but that's usually how PAX goes. I only went to a couple of panels on Sunday, and yes, I missed the Cards Against Humanity panel again, but I'll make it there one time, one of these days. But um, I went to Why It's Still Awesome to be a Female in the Games Industry, and I went to their panel last year, Why It's Awesome, and this year was continuation Why It's Still Awesome. But um, I was standing in line, and one of the panelists, Diana Laura, was looking at the line, and she's like, holy shit, is this line? And they're like, yeah. And um, I was like, yeah, I was here last year, and like she looked at me, she's like, I think I recognize you, and I was just like, she recognizes me? That's awesome! So, that was really cool, and they talked about, like, how their years had gone since, and, um, just, like, some of the struggles that they've gone through, and I'm gonna be going to that every year because I just think it's a good thing for me as a woman who's interested in going into the games industry, but, um, it was really awesome. If I can find the video of the panel, I'll, I'll link it in this video. It's it's worth watching. Um, I also went to full-time student, part-time indie, because that is relevant to my life right now, and my friend Cam went with me too. I was actually kind of surprised that more people who are in the game design program at SNU weren't there, but it was Sunday and people were probably getting in their, their last shopping and going on the expo floor and all that, but anyway. but. Those were the panels I went to, and I watched my friends play some fake plastic rock, and I also got up and sang um, Holy Diver by Dio, and it was really uncomfortable, because it wasn't a song that I'm comfortable singing in the first place, even though it's a good song, I'm not gonna knock it, but I prefer stuff like Linger by Cranberries and female vocals, because I do vocal covers on my channel, and that's mostly what I do. but. It was really uncomfortable because there's like this audience of people watching me and I'm an introvert and I say that and I'm putting videos on the internet but I don't have a studio audience in front of me watching me do the thing and if I mess up I can just hit the stop button and record a new thing and I'm probably on like my fourth or fifth take on this one as it is. But I had a really awesome weekend and so Thank you, James, for 
helping me get the Mega Buster. Really, really appreciate it. Um, also, this is the townhouse where I have crashed on the couch several times. I actually got an air mattress because I was on, sick of sleeping on the couch, so it goes to show how often I'm here if I'm buying an air mattress to hang out, but um, this is the place where Camberry and JT and David are, and they've been really awesome and have let me crash here several times. Awesome people. Good weekend. Happy. And this is my video, and this is, this is the most awesome thing. And I like that it says that it's for ages 8 and up when it's obviously going to be adults buying it for themselves. Like, I mean, yeah, you can get it for an 8-year-old, but they're not going to appreciate it like someone who grew up playing the 8-bit Mega Man games. But, yeah. So, thank you for watching. I'll try and find the video of the Women in Games panel, and I'll put it down in my description.